heartfelt namaste i anuradha would like to thank all of you for liking sharing and subscribing to our youtube and spotify channels and writing in your comments and your suggestions there today we have with us chandrashekhar sharma ji sir a warm welcome to you my pleasure sharma sir has written many a books and he also has his own youtube channel where he puts in a lot of data so all those who want to get a lot of knowledge about authentic texts should definitely subscribe to his channel he also is the writer of many a books and one of the recent publications has been bhavat ratnakar on which we have our classes in hindi from the bhavat ratnakar we here taken a very interesting shlok to be discussed with sir sir uh, so this is a shlok that has to do with rahu and ketu and yeah. this is a shlok which is Uh, supposed to bring in a lot of um, different opinion about rahu and ketu i leave absolutely. this to you sir absolutely see ultimately it is bhavas ratnakar the meaning of bhavas you know taken out by churning the ocean of knowledge is the way i mean that is how it used to be described by the ancient that is that is how they would generally give a title to any any text that they would write <clears throat> and that is why in bhavarta ratnakar you will find the yoga or whatever he said is always with reference to some bhava or other not rahu is bad and ketu is good or whatever is nowadays supposed to be he goes a step much ahead of it and here what is being said is saptamasta sahi ke jate na nipuno bhavet nipun means expert expert in the sense that that person can utilize the resources that are granted to him by god in the best possible way sahi ke is he is said to be sihi ka putra he is said to be son of a demon as they call it but uh, i think they were all uh, anyway you know wise of kashapa rushi so different tendencies and so if rahu the north node of moon occupies the seventh bhava then such a person in whose chart this is the position he is an expert in utilizing all the resources that are available to him this is the essence of what is being said now question is why should we accept it only at face value no there is something much more behind it that is why this is ultimately called bhavartha ratnakar see rahu has qualities akin to saturn this has to be first and so manda sama rahu pujavat ketu is the same that is right. rahu rahu acts like uh, you know saturn and ketu acts more or less some qualities of mars are in ketu this is the basis okay now this rahu placed in the seventh house would indicate that as saturn gets direction of strength in the seventh house rahu also gets direction of strength in the seventh house so he is powerful again saturn has a habit of not harming the house it occupies especially when he is strong rahu has similar uh, you know habits and that is why he is extremely strong when placed in the seventh house now why this nipuna comes out see there are two ways of looking at any knowledge or information you get one is believing it at face value that is what rahu is not going to do and expertise comes out of understanding whatever is presented to you how far it is correct where it is applicable all these things when they come together is called as expertise expert is nothing but the same person who was sitting in the same bench on you learn from the same uh, lecturer from the same books but he is later on called as expert and what you will find is he analyzes whatever is presented to him and tries to find out what is the reason behind it what is the principle behind it whether it is true it is false and all those things and then a person can become <coughs> expert but what has this to do with the seventh house because this is house of uh, spouse that is what you would generally think but saturn rahu has a habit of influencing the seventh bhava, uh, bhava from itself you will find that in even lagu parashari i have also written on it and many learned have written on it you will understand so <coughs> this jataka has a tendency to go deeper into anything rahu is said to occupy and hills 
according to standard text. Now you know the, it is an imaginary point. It is intersection of two <coughs> a, a transitional uh, you know uh, path of two planets, and they happen uh, every eighteen months apart, and that is why it is said to complete one you know, you know is uh, no. ambulation ambulation around this in eighteen months, and that is why we take mean Rahu, but that is besides the subject. So. This Rahu has a habit of analyzing. Where will he analyze? Seventh bhav also happens to be bhava of people with whom you interact. Spouse, then uh, your business, your short travels. So you will find such people even if they go for a trip somewhere, they will still try to find out something new there. Because Rahu is there. He has a habit of doing that. And that knowledge, the person can apply somewhere else far into the future in any of his businesses or work or whatever he likes to do. And that is why Rao in seventh is called as a Nipur, expert. Expert in what? Obviously, utilizing all the resources that are given and indicated by planets placed in different bhavas in his chart. And that is why generally even businesses, they are successful. They hold on to things. So even if there is up and down in a business, or, or even in travels, they can adjust to it. So this is the great Rahu. And that is why Rahu in the seventh causes this. Ah, people may not sometimes understand exactly what is his profession or business because Rahu has a tendency of creating some imagery, I mean, uh, some sort of uh, illusion, what we call it. I would, I would say he, he tends to hide what is there. But hide is not deliberate. That is, so people's perception may be something else. Uh, and uh, that is why he's called, uh, you know, expert. And that is how he would use his Rahu very properly. Because the, you know, his influence is also on the Lagna, which happens to be the personality of the person. But Rahu is not there. So his personality is known. Rahu occupying Lagna, maybe nobody would know what sort of personality uh, that gentleman is. Here, he doesn't take anything at face value, understands what he's told. If he doesn't understand, he will go deeper into it, try to find out, and then deal with the situation. So he's got expert. Now we come to Ketu. See, I am uh, saying this at length because every time Rahu and Ketu is mentioned, everybody is scared. I mean, normally <laughs> the, 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 uh, the, the reaction is my Rahu Dasha is starting and I am doomed. And uh, sometimes he finds that he is actually, he is doing extremely well. He has never done it. And why? So for that, we have to read Bhavartha Ratnagar, Lagu Parashari, etc. So that we can mm, understand. And Sanskrit being a language of brevity, it was only put in few words. And that is why I, I take the trouble of explaining it at length. And that is how Sanskrit uh, is uh, the language of brevity. Uh, giving huge knowledge into two or three words. And then we have to find out what is behind those words. So now in seventh house, Ketu is placed. So what happens? Then it is said that the spouse of the Jataka is Shru. Now this happens because the word used is Dhurka. In uh, languages arrived from Sanskrit, it is generally thought to be somebody who is Shru. But this Dhurka also comes from the Mm -hmm. you know, basic word which is dhi, which is intellect. And Ketu himself is called as Sutra Karta. Sutra has two meanings. Sutra means a thread. Even thread is important, as I tell you. And Sutra also means the very brief aphorisms, as in Jaimini Sutra. Nat Pachita. Sometimes not. And that is all. That is the Sutra. So you have to go on opening it. So who opens it? This Ketu who has a tendency of going at length, hanging on to something and uh, being attached to it till the end is reached. So understanding things. Obviously, again, like Rahu, he would also not be um, somebody who is given to um, sort of he or she, whoever it is, the spouse. Now we are only talking about spouse and remember Ketu operates in the bhava that he is placed in. He doesn't have his shadow or his minor influence on the um, uh, Bhavar, which is seven, seven to it. And this has to be understood. He, he, he has a uh, sort of a limited energy which suddenly bursts out. So this is Ketu. Now, 
this person would generally once having taken up some work would go to the root of not the root of it it will come it now rahul will go into deep thought feel it will is right or wrong or whatever ketu has a different way once he takes up something he will complete it he or she or whatever and <clears throat> somebody who is also able to understand the meaning behind the spoken words because ketu ultimately is the second half of rahul and he is sutra karta anybody who has read, uh, read the jaimini sutras would understand they are not very easy to uh, understand though it is said asandikta uh, that it is without i mean you have no doubt exactly the meaning is understood etc but at the last of the sutra the, the shloka which describes it they say this sutra is understood only by those who understand sutras so so it, it is not common people who understand and that is why because the spouse may be able to exactly understand what is happening here and may not reveal that she or he knows it and that is why the jataka himself might th- think that she is very sure how did she come to know i am doing this no ketu is there don't worry so from whenever we call any say anything it is from the perspective of the jataka so for him his wife or her husband would be very sure i don't know how he understood that i am talking to my friend xyz or whatever or i i was told at the bed servant or whatever uh, so 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 this will happen and uh, again the best part of it is they generally go to the end of whatever they had taken up if yeah, they so take they're... something they will continue with it till that thread breaks every thread breaks they understand when that thread is over and another thread has begun so uh, take it in that says not necessarily you know, yeah, of course for others somebody like that would appear to be true that, that so there because... would be too much focused on uh, there would be one dedicated thing. focus yes. on whatever one is thing. there whatever and is there yes we, we say unravel all. the entire issue yes, yes. and then okay. let it go uh, then let it go then go to another issue okay. that is why even ketu in the ninth house i always say they are pretty focused they would not leave the dharma they are, it is house of dharma people think that because ketu is there then giving up of the spouse is there it is not necessary so as i was saying never be scared of rahu and ketu in right place they can give very good results never take the words that are there verbatim because dhur the means shru don't take it like that go into depth of it like rahu would go and find out what it means it means being shru is not bad otherwise everybody will go on fooling you so it is good so that person spouse would not be easy to fool uh, which is a good uh, actually support for the person involved actually uh, i mean if it is looked at in that fashion and uh, i think we should now because um, i think i have covered everything about rahu and ketu and so their tendencies a- and, and 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 what are the you know what we think misconceptions or misconceptions or wrong concepts about these planets they have their own system you have to handle it properly so this is a been a, there has been a very beautiful session on understanding that rahu has much more to offer to a person Absolutely. when it is in the first or the seventh house yeah. and incidentally when we ro- rotate the chart it could become the seventh house for any person so that's yeah. again a very beautiful thing yeah. that we can explore yeah. Uh, yes. with yes. our imagination Absolutely. and ketu in the seventh house also means somebody who is dedicated to one thing and will get to the end of it so rahu and ketu in the seventh house are definitely not bad as predicted or fatalistic as predicted by him right. right you are right you are right till we meet with you again stay safe thank you thank you so much the bell icon for fresh updates don't forget to like share and comment on the videos and please subscribe to our channel